What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we are here to take a look at three new breakfast offerings. We got a couple different breakfast blends from Planters, Apple Coffee Cake and Blueberry Muffin, and then Chocolatey Churro Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. First up is the Frosted Chocolatey Churro Pop-Tarts. Found these for $2.49 at Market Street in Fort Worth, and uh, that is Albertson's own, so should be fairly easy to uh, spot at a local grocery store chain near you. Uh, we have already gone through the labor of toasting it, but here is what it looks like. Basically, you get some uh, granular cinnamon sugar on the outside, as well as some cinnamon-flavored cream, I believe. And then uh, on the inside, it is uh, chocolate. Yummy. So, Ryan, just oh grab God. what you want there. And then uh, if you want to grab off a piece of that toasted up one as well, you can compare and contrast. Because let's face it, with a Pop-Tart, you just never know. Sometimes better toasted, sometimes better right out of the box. Sorry. So, look, as far as these Pop-Tarts go, um, I prefer it pre-toasted. I think you get a, a more balanced flavor profile. You get a little bit more emphasis on cinnamon and specifically the cinnamon sugar on the outside. And let's face it, a churro is literally cinnamon sugar on the outside of something, right? So, I mean, if you want something that tastes like a churro, you got to eat it right out of the box. If you want to toast it up, tastes like chocolate, tastes like a little bit of that, uh, you know, that edge toasting mm -hmm. but it really doesn't taste very much like cinnamon and definitely doesn't taste like a churro so um you know it's a mixed bag i mean honestly i uh, i could have it either way to taste it two different ways but i i far prefer the um the pre-toasted taste really tastes pretty much exactly like a coffee cake and our next thing is coffee cake this is the first of our planters breakfast blends it's apple coffee cake flavor, $4.49 at hy V. It's a apple coffee cake mix that combines cinnamon graham cookies, dried apples, cocoa peanuts with almonds and biscotti cookies. Interesting. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is uh, quite an undertaking. Here is what it looks like. Not what I expected. Not what I expected either. So I guess these are the little biscotti cookies, huh? Yeah. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> That's coffee. Is coffee cake supposed to be coffee flavored? It's just to dip in your coffee, right? That's what I thought. Yeah. Kind of tastes a little bit like coffee. Mm. The cinnamon graham cookies are pretty good. And combining them with something salty is pretty genius. I don't like the biscotti at all. Can't go wrong with almonds, but it's a good sweet and salty contrast mix. Throw me one of those little pieces of brown. Yeah, you won't like it. It doesn't taste very good. Definitely made to be yeah. disguised in a mix. Oh my god. It's That's too strong. Coffee taste, right? It's coffee, yeah. yeah. And to round everything out, we've got the blueberry muffin planters breakfast blends. We got cinnamon graham cookies dried blueberries, roasted almonds, yogurt-covered blueberries, and roasted pecans. Another very complex mix of flavors. This one, to me, sounds like a can't-miss mix, but who knows? These may look like raisins, but they're blueberries. Interesting. You got graham cookies coming back, okay. so... I like these big old pecans they got in here, too. Yeah, you get that yogurt. Do you get some of the yogurt covered? I did. Yogurt covered blueberries. A little underwhelming. Kind of tastes like raisins, even though they're not raisins. They're blueberries. It also doesn't taste anything like a blueberry muffin at all. Even the blueberries don't taste like a blueberry muffin. How is that even possible? I don't know. Boy, I thought it was can't miss. It can miss. 
All right, gimmick raid. Look, Planters is trying to get into breakfast. That's cool. I like that. Planters breakfast blends. I'm going to go ahead and give you a uh, 7 out of 10. Solid. Frosted chocolatey churro Pop-Tarts. Pretty conventional flavor. Pretty boring packaging. 3 out of 10. But not so much of a gimmick product anyway. So I don't think they'll be too heartbroken by that. Capsule countdown. I gotta say, just for the disappointment alone, I'm going blueberry muffin. It just tastes like a fistful of raisins with some extra plain stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not good. For four dollars and forty nine cents. That's four dollars. How many Dude, ounces? Planters is like it's uh, five ounces. Jeez, five. Remember, Planters is the same company that charged me six dollars and ninety nine cents for those natural light peanuts that we reviewed a few weeks back. Um, this is bad trail mix. It's bad trail mix for five dollars. Yeah, I uh, mean they did such a good job last review with the cheese balls. I don't know. Uh, boy, I'll give it a three out of ten. I mean it's fine. It's probably a healthier snack, but it's also not healthy on your budget. That's that's brutal. I could eat this whole thing in one sitting, and that's a five dollar snack. Yeah, so that's that's a real problem. All right, so second place on today's Caps Countdown. Got to be the apple coffee cake. This is actually a pretty well-balanced flavor. This um, had what it took to be in that top tier, but the biscotti was fairly repulsive, actually. It was a very poor choice of inclusion. It tasted a bit too much like coffee when it's supposed to be focused on being apple and cinnamon. You know, it's like mm -hmm. an apple coffee cake. This, that's not really what I got out of this. Uh, but it was still tasty. I like these graham, uh, cinnamon graham cookies. Really good. Obviously, whenever you're adding um, almonds, you get some good saltiness, some good crunch. So it's got some strength. I'll give it a five and a half out of 10. Uh, should have been better, but hey, that's the way it works. I mean, do better. <laughs> All right, and that means our winner today is the Frosted Chocolatey Churro Pop-Tarts. This is one where sometimes you do something that is different but safe, and taste-wise, it really pays off. Out of the package, it's a top five Pop-Tart. In the toaster, it's a top 20 Pop-Tart, but eat it right out of the package, you know? Learn by my mistake, I guess. I, uh, I love the cinnamon sugar on the outside, and I think that they should have gone heavier into it. They wanted it to be more like the churro experience and not just the churro taste. Uh, that's pretty much my only criticism of it out of the box. In the toaster, it does lose too much of the cinnamon taste to really justify the churro labeling, although chocolatey is the first part of it. Uh, it does lose the churro, which is the more interesting element, the more differentiated element of it. I give it a seven and a half out of ten. I uh, yeah, I give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. First place on today's caps countdown. Let's talk about cooler stuff, though. This mm -hmm. honestly, uh, honestly, is kind of bland, bland review so far, as far as I'm concerned. So let's mix it up with something breakfast oriented that's totally crazy and awesome. It is the Kellogg's Fruit Loops Cereal Straws from 2007. It has a crunchy Fruit Loop flavored cereal shell with a fruity flavor lining. It's six inches long, goes into your glass of milk. You drink your milk. You let it kind of sit in there for a second. It gets nice and soft. These were so delicious. I don't know if Kellogg's has ever made Fruit Loops better than when they just made them into a straw. Uh, I mean, these were just absolutely outstanding. I used to get them all the time. And it really did its job. It made me drink a lot more milk. One thing that I think that's kind of interesting, they came with 24 straws. That's a heaping helping of straws. Um, that is a lot, that is a lot of straws. Like these days it would come with like six, right? Probably for the same price. The serving size is three straws, though, which that's pretty reasonable. Like, it's like a 
bowl of cereal worth of straws, but these were so cool, so delicious. Um, I don't usually like for products to return, honestly. I, I have most of the stuff I've ever wanted in my collection. Brings down the value and kind of cloudies some of those memories. This is one I would be thrilled, thrilled, thrilled to, to see a return for because I would actually eat it on a regular basis, even when the camera is not on. Uh, anyway, guys, this is the last filming of our session today. So I have no clue what's coming next, but I know it's going to be good because we got several weeks to prepare. So, Ryan, thanks for coming out today. Our uh, COVID safe environment. And uh, of course, until next time, y'all, I will miss you until I see you. Cheers.